we taking fuel in uh, Flamenco Marina and when we are ready we have uh, over 15,000 liter that means she will have a weight of over 130 ton a he heavy lady we are crossing the anchorage for a cargo ship outside Panama City uh, I estimate there is about 50 to 75 big cargo ship lying here and waiting to get through the Panama Canal. It's nice to have the, the OES so we can check if there is any uh, ship moving because we are coming quite close to many of them and you don't want to find that they are suddenly moving. The weather looks really good and we are looking forward to have a really nice trip up to Libra, a small island which will be our first anchorage. We are mostly sitting up here on the flybridge and enjoying the ride. It's very nice, warm and cozy. And we hope that it should be like this the following days. We are running 1200 RPM, which gives us a speed of about 8, 8.5 knots. We estimate to come to a small island, uh, Isla de Coiba, tomorrow afternoon. That is uh, one of Panama's biggest islands, and it's a na nature park. No people are living on the island, so let's see how that will be. Hopefully we will see some monkeys and parrots, but we will see. Just now we just enjoy the life on board on Amala. This is our day two on the way to Isla Coiba. We have been on the way for nearly 24 hours <coughs> and been sailing along Cuibra for at least four hours. We have about one hour to go to a small bay we should anchor here. As you can see the water is very calm and uh, the sky is blue. It's the perfect weather for a move along. We have several visits by dead dolphins. Uh, I think it's four or five times they have been here. Uh, but we don't see any yet, just now. Quibra is uh, one of the biggest marine parks in the world. Earlier, this was a big prison island. And uh, In fact, uh, it was quite a bloody story once when a sailor was coming in here and uh, the prisoners get, did kill him. But now it's very calm and I assume we will get a very nice afternoon and evening in the bay here. We are now approaching the bay in Quibra. It seems very well protected. We have some reef up here and we have the small, small island here to the right which will protect us. Uh, as you can see, there is no people living. We are just out in the middle of nowhere. So we dropped the hook here on uh, this very small wet protected by. Uh, we are anchoring at uh, 
about six meters depth and I did yes see some dolphins here so we will have some company at least we have now about 35 meter chain out and uh, we will test if we have got a good we are leaving Cuiba uh, we had a, si a silent night not so much monkey disturbing us here we can see that we have a visit of dolphins uh, we have about 20 around us we are moving down to the wheelhouse since it's not soon it will be a dark and uh, during our night watch we always are in the wheelhouse our uh, third or fourth morning i'm not sure on the sea when you are at sea you don't really count the time uh, we have a beautiful weather as all the days before and we are enjoying the life. Here you can really see that there's no wind at all, totally calm. We are just now approaching a bay with the marina Apagayo inside. Uh, we are thinking about staying here for waiting for a good weather forecast because just after that corner we have the Gulf Papagayo and it's normally blowing very much there and uh, we want to get a nice ride help. So we plan to go into the marina and wait there. When you are out at sea, you don't think about the date always. And we had missed totally that it was Eastern. And when we called up the marina and asked for permission to approach the harbor, they told us that we couldn't do that because the custom was closed and we was not allowed to go into the dock in El Salvador since we couldn't clear in. So there was nothing to do. We turned around and uh, since it didn't look so bad, we was going for crossing the via Apagayo. The wind here is between 30 and 35 knots, but uh, the calm is quite, the sea is quite calm, and uh, it's okay. We are running with the stabilizer, so it's quite comfortable. The 15th, the eldest from Nicaragua, the fourth one, the it was a little bit bumpy our apagayo, but uh, after uh, six, eight hours, uh, the weather and the wind was coming down and uh, it's nice again we are running about 1300 rpm and uh, making nine nine and a half knots uh, we are trying to reach chiapas within two days before the sunset Uh, six days to see. Uh, still calm weather. If we have only about half a day with the wind about 40 knots. 
the rest of the trip has been wind less than 10, 12 knots. So it's a very, very nice sailing here. And uh, the sky has been blue the whole time. So, a fantastic weather. Uh, we expect to approach Chiapo uh, late this afternoon before sunset. The only thing which has not been so good is uh, the fishing. Uh, we have not, we well, only get one Mai Mai, but uh, it could also be, depend on that we have been running quite fast, so a little bit too fast for traveling. We are approaching Chapas Harbor, uh, which is a quite big harbor uh, with the cruising ship and so on. We are going through the harbor into a smaller channel which will lead us into Marina Chiapas. Eva is preparing the fenders and the lines for the docking. And here we go stern in. Marina Chiapas is a very safe harbor, even called a hurricane owl, which means you're safe even if it's coming a hurricane. It's not so crowded as you see, but it's not season for the moment. And you see the channel, and in the background you can see a cruising ship in the harbor. It has also a very nice restaurant, which you see here. Chiapas was our first port in Mexico, so we had to clear in and visit the port captain and customer and immigration and also the narcotica dog was coming and visiting and checking our boat but everything went well but it was taking a whole day at the end of our stop in Chiapas I was coming a Nordhaven 76 a sister ship in that was Tango they was coming from Alaska and they did, did give us very much valuable information about different places to visit. We are just now lying and waiting for a really good weather forecast and it seems like it will come and be very calm the coming days. So we are planning to leave tomorrow morning. Early in the morning we left Marina Chiapas, uh, especially in the morning until about 11 o'clock in the morning. It's very calm and we wanted to make this trip as calm as possible. Uh, and it's looking very, very good. A new morning and the night has been calm and soon we are through the area which could be very windy and choppy. So it's looking good and we don't complain. In front of us there are Acapulco but we will pass that and go straight to Ixtapa. We are approaching Ixtapa and uh, Eva is preparing the line and fenders. Here you see the big, heavy, heavy fender she is throwing it overboard. But luckily enough, it's connected to the boat, so it's no problem. Here we see downtown of Ixtapa with the uh, hotels. Xtapa is a very popular uh, vacation place. Eva has fixed the line and fenders and we are ready to approach Xtapa.
the marina has been closed for several days, depending on the big sweats. But now it's quite calm, and uh, we could go in. And here we are going in. It's a uh, little bit current here, so uh, we had to watch up a little. But uh, not any big problem. It's uh, a very well protected harbor. We say a little hello because uh, the canal or inlet are quite uh, narrow in front of us and uh, we don't meet, want to meet any bigger boat on its way out. Anyway, now we go in. And again, they don't answer us, and we still don't know where the ship is. So we have just to wait lying in wait here and hopefully there will come some or they will answer us when we will be able so here is coming a boat on our starboard side and uh, it's the marina boat so we expect that we will show us where the ship is so we follow it see the lion handlers on our port side but uh, the slip looks very narrow and uh, 
The question is if it's wide enough. That sleep on our uh, port side is not wide enough, so we decided that we want another sleep. Line handlers is standing on our port side in the dock, and uh, I believe that, that it's that ship we should go in, so I prepare for backing in to that ship. But uh, after a while, they explained that it wasn't that ship, it was a ship further ahead. So I don't know why that I was standing in any case. We have to go further. So finally we have found our ships and uh, we could tighten the line and we have approached Ixtapa and that ends our first part of our sailing to Alaska.